r slash ask reddit what's the worst parenting you've witnessed in public a woman smacked her child multiple times for going to pick up a mcdonald's order from the counter because it wasn't their order it got really awkward when it became clear that it was in fact their order my friend saw a mother sitting on their child as punishment he didn't know for what it was a young child and she was pretty overweight as well strange things happen on public buses a woman got arrested where my mom works for doing that she tackled her son to the ground and sat on him while he was screaming i think my mom later learned that the boy was actually autistic it made me so sad was at a stock show kid with a sheep in the ring with her dad on the other side of the fence telling her she was showing like shit and berating her for not being able to perform how he'd like her to she was sobbing in tears in front of about 500 people just in the building and the show was being live streamed all over the country i tried to help her from across the ring but she was too distracted by her piece of shit dad i don't have kids but reading all these stories has me promising myself to try to be the best mom on the entire planet when i do have kids I'm even going to be extra sweet to my cats when I get home. Not like I need a reason for that. But I'm just gonna pour on the sugar extra heavy. An after school care parent of a 12 year old figured out it was me that called CPS. After threatening me in my office she proceeded to beat her daughter upside the head on their way down the stairs. Declaring that no one would stop her from hitting her child. Of course I called CPS again as well as one of the fitness instructors downstairs to intervene. 18 years old, standing in line during the summer. Big attraction. Lots of people lined up in the bright sun. Big fountain right by the line, the outer ring of which is some kind of black stone. Just sucking up light and heat. We were like 30 feet back, and I happen to look over at the fountain as this woman hoists her infant, unable to stand walk under their own strength, up onto the black ring barefoot poor kid is immediately doing this hopping kind of motion trying to pull her legs up which makes mom shake her by the arm she's being held up by mom doesn't look at her because mom is trying to do something on her phone no one is reacting lady seems to reach someone on the phone and becomes deeply engrossed in conversation while her kid cries in pain i quickly walked over and put my hand on the stone and loudly didn't mean to was just surprised by how hot said holy crap it's so hot. Everyone nearby turned to look, and the woman had immediately pulled her infant away from me when I yelped. I just walked back to my parents in line. Lady kind of looked back at me for a moment with this WTF is your problem? Face. Before looking back at the fountain. She touched the stone and yanked her hand back fast. And she turned bright red before facing forward for the rest of the time we were in line. Edit. I didn't read it at all today. You guys have no idea the bricks I was shitting to see 43 messages waiting for me. Thanks for the gold. Some years ago I used to live above a trashy single mother in a 3 apartment house. One Saturday night around 2am there was a knock on my door and a 4 year old daughter from downstairs stood in front of me crying asking if I knew where her mother was. Wet PJ and dirty bare feet from searching her mom outside in the garden. That bitch went out partying as soon as the child was asleep and left her totally alone. She can consider herself lucky that the cops I called arrived before she did. Probably a father verbally berating his son, around 11-12, about asking for something. Like he would not let up about how this kid was such a selfish little bastard. His words, this kid was trailing behind him obviously humiliated, crying while the dad just kept up telling him how awful he was. Felt bad for the kid. A few people stopped him and told him to let up and he just got all don't tell me how to talk to my kid and stormed out. It was at a Coles in the mall so nobody could get the information on him. It was just really sad. These are the ones that always haunt me. I've followed people to their car when I'd seen small kids smacked around. But CPS will rarely intervene practically in a situation like humiliation. I've seen so much of it too. Kids running after their parents sobbing and begging for love and forgiveness. And what could a child under 7 do that is unforgivable? While the parent marches through the store telling them how awful they are or ignoring them completely. Those children will be forever scarred and if it's that bad in public I bet it is so much worse at home. I live in a small city. I have seen this happen 20 times minimum in the past 2 years and I don't get out much. I always try to say something. But when I have my own son with me I try to keep from getting into an argument and just try to model good parenting next to the despicable person. 
but then being next to them traumatizes my son. It makes me so angry so many parents have children and apparently hate them so much they would do this. It isn't just they are having a rough time. It is vitriolic anger towards their children's existence. I say this as someone who suffered PPD and PPA and wanted to leave my son with my husband for a new life many times. I regretted having a child. But I would never ever make him feel unloved and if I get to anything close to a breaking point I get help before it can impact him, I'm doing fine now. These people parents who treat their children like that are just horrible humans and there is no excuses. A little girl walking with her dad stopped to rummage through some dandelions. The dad kept walking while she yelled at him to wait. She picked a dandelion and ran over to him to give it to him. He tossed it to the side and told her to stop ducking around. I was on a train home. A mother was sitting with her son, maybe 6-7 years old, at the front of a nearly full, silent car. He had peed his pants for 45 minutes. We all had to witness her berating this kid, and doing it very loudly. Saying shit like this is why I don't like to take anywhere with me. You're an embarrassment to me. Everyone here knows what you did. Yada yada yada. Poor kid was crying. She was ducking yelling shit like this for the whole ride. It was absolutely ridiculous. If she hadn't been yelling no one would have known he had peed himself. I felt so ducking bad for him. Finally, a man sitting near the back of the car spoke up, said something like mom, please stop yelling at him, you are making us all very uncomfortable. She grabbed the kid's arm and stormed off at the next stop, I really hope he's okay. At a fast food place for lunch, there is a huge 300 plus pound woman with her daughter who is about 6 years old. The daughter is not fat, maybe plump, and eating straight butter, one pad of butter after another. The mother stops her and says do you feel sick? Daughter says no. The mother says okay then, but once you feel sick you should stop. Pretty sure the kid will not grow up healthy. My least favorite thing is watching parents insult and talk badly about people in front of their kids. It ingrains in them that being nasty is okay, and that fosters terrible behavior in the future. I was in the supermarket once when this man walks past, with his kid trailing behind him. I guess the kid would have been about 4 or 5 years of age. He calls out to his father, Dad, we need noodles. To which dad replied we've already got noodles. You dumb duck. Definitely one of those did I seriously just hear that right? Moments. You never duck and listen to me, you ducking brat. Gosh, when you speak to your child with such respect. I can't imagine why they'd ever start tuning you out. My parents used to let me scream bloody murder in movie theaters because it's a natural form of human expression. Sorry to anyone I inconvenienced. Two young kids playing with an earshot of their mother. One kid says to the other, I'm gonna kill you. The mother yells over, if you say something like that again I'll break your neck. Sometimes you just can't figure out where kids get ideas from. A mother ordering a chipotle and letting her 5 year old boy lick the countertop up and down while her burrito was being prepared. My niece's birthday party. She has a little brother and sister. Little sister gets a balloon ribbon wrapped around her neck. And her father casually glanced over. Took note of the situation. Then went back to looking at his phone. I had to pull out my pocket knife to get the ribbon off the kid while she cried. Same kids. Different story. It's Thanksgiving and something is burning. Smoke starts filling the house and the little ones start coughing. Nobody moved. So I snatched them up and took them outside. FFS. I don't have kids because I'm not responsible enough. But people who have kids to just be irresponsible with the lives of their children piss me right the duck off. I work in pharmacy. And we regularly sell packs of syringes without prescriptions to people claiming to need them for a sick pet relative etc. Regardless of whether that's true or they're using them to shoot up drugs our policy is to sell them for the sake of harm reduction. Because we'd rather addicts use clean needles than reuse dirty ones and spread diseases. We had a lady who used to always come in with her two adorable little girls to buy syringes for their diabetic dog. At first she was believable. She had her shit together and her kids seemed well taken care of. 
but after a while it became obvious she was actually using and her addiction was getting bad. Her kids were obviously dirty. The older one who was maybe 6 years old went from happy and talkative to withdrawn and sad looking. And the mom eventually stopped trying to cover up her open sores and track marks. I approached my boss with my concerns. As a mother myself I really did not feel comfortable selling to her with her kids right there. And he basically told me to either suck it up or have one of the other techs on duty sell to her. Because it's corporate policy and a $3 pack of syringes is apparently still an important profit for the company. The last time I saw her come in she had open sores on her face and track marks up both arms. The older kid had on a filthy stained dress and her hair was an unkempt rat's nest. And the baby had a bad rash on her arms and face and her shoes were obviously too small and held on with duct tape. I really wish I'd gotten her address off of her it so I could make an anonymous call and report her to CPS so she could get some sort of help or at least have the kids placed somewhere safe where they don't have to watch their mom shoot up. It's not as bad as some of the stuff here, but my sister-in-law always threatens to leave a place unless her kid behaves, but she has never followed through on her threat once, so her kid knows nothing will happen. For example, they'll be at our house, and he won't sit down to eat his supper. She tells him to sit and eat or they'll leave. She will literally say this 20 times. She'll even say okay son's name. I'm getting up and we're going. Still no reaction. Then son's name. I'm putting on my boots. Still nothing. Eventually she gives up. He doesn't eat his supper and they don't leave. This happens every time I see them. So he never behaves and she has him going to a psychiatrist to figure out why. I'm the opposite with my kids. There are times they don't even get warnings. We were at a park to watch fireworks a few weeks ago when my 6 year old hit me twice in the groin because she got angry at something. I packed her up in the car and went home and put her straight to bed. She missed out on the fireworks while her sister and cousins got to stay up later. Don't make threats if you are not going to follow through on them. A mother duck led her baby duckers right across the damn highway. I was riding the bus a few weeks ago and the woman sitting beside me turned to her daughter and started screaming at her for looking at the other passengers because people will stab you for looking at them in public. When I worked at a grocery store, there was a regular who would come in with her three kids. Usually the older kids weren't bad and rarely caused a scene but the youngest, about 3-4 years old, was the worst. Every single time she would come up to check out the youngest would start asking for candy. She would tell him no and that he needed to eat real food first before candy was allowed. Of course. He would start wailing so loudly that the whole store could hear and she would ignore him. This would go on for about 2-3 minutes and then he would beg her for candy again. She would say no just like she did before but on this particular trip he actually started throwing things out of the cart. She smacked him on the hand and told him to stop behaving that way and then he actually hit her back. She yelled at him and told him that she would spank him if he didn't calm down and he cried some more for a few minutes. Once I was done ringing her up, I told her the total and guess what happened? She bought the ducking candy bar and gave it to him. Does it count if the child was unborn at the time? A girl I know fell pregnant at 15. And I saw her on multiple occasions drinking and smoking while 6 plus months pregnant. And a mutual friend told me she was still doing drugs. 2. Another time. I saw a woman and her baby daddy. I assume. At like. 9 in the morning drinking methylated spirits straight from the bottle in a packed McDonald's. Then she went outside and started smoking. Yes it counts. My lovely incubator smoked two packs a day the entire time she was pregnant with me. I'm 25. I've suffered my entire life from bad asthma and chronic bronchitis. I've had bronchitis so bad I've fractured my ribs from coughing. I am not a smoker. Never touched one. But I got it for 9 months before I escaped the womb. And now I'll live with my breathing issues the rest of my life. Oh. And those issues could be my cause of death. So yay. Keep smoking your cancer sticks ladies. Your unborn babies will thank you. S. I'll end my little rant. But before I do. Smoking or drinking while pregnant should be considered child abuse. I was driving behind a small sedan once that was packed. Driver. Front passenger. And three in the back. We stopped at a red light and I was just waiting for the light to change back when an infant. Nine months by my guess. Crawled up over the shoulder of the middle passenger into the rear window. 
looked me in the eye, and smiled. The light changed soon after and they drove off with the baby just chilling there. I'm still ashamed I was too stunned to think to get the license plate number and report it to the police. My mother beat me so hard with a wooden spoon that it broke. Didn't help that I was laugh crying the whole time. Then she got a metal spoon. When I got dropped off at my dad's house two days later and I wouldn't sit at the dinner table he was pissed. I told him why and it was the first time in my life I'd seen him cry. I was on holiday a bit back there and was in this market. A child that was about 6 or 7 years old lifted a postcard and wouldn't put it down when the dad asked. Then out of the blue the dad loses his shit and slaps the child so hard the child starts screaming immediately at the top of his lungs and falls to the ground holding his head. I genuinely felt ill and full of anger after watching it. Shut the duck up or I'll break your face. Some obese woman to her 6 7 year old boy on a bus was in a fairly nice restaurant with an adults only bar slash patio in the back, on a canal. We were the only adults eating in the front part of the restaurant. Bar slash patio really rolling. 30ish couple walks in with two girls, ages 10 and 12. They get a table for four near us. Server comes in and parents say, here's ten dollars. Watch our kids while we go it over the bar. They then leave the girls and go to the bar. Waiter pockets the ten dollar and continues his job. Kids start running all over the place and run outside onto the street. We get our food and are eating. Kids are out on the street in front of the restaurant playing. Father come back from the bar and can't find the girls. We tell him they are outside. Father starts yelling at us for letting them go outside. WTF. Then he screams for the server he tips and the manager. Demands the manager fire the server. We are still sitting there. Totally blown away. Pay our check and as we are leaving. Guys is screaming at everyone, kids, server, manager, us. I saw lady leave her kids on a leash outside an ice cream shop. I mean, my parents had me on a leash when I was little because I was a little shit who wouldn't hold hands. That's the right way to use a child leash. Your child is not a dog. You do not leave them tied to a bench. The point of child leashes is to keep kids safe while they can get some independence. Not to be a neglectful idiot with a pet toddler. This one stupid guy, during Christmas season, was in the store with his 5 year old and they were standing next to the ornament tree, like a metal skeleton in a shape of a Christmas tree, but empty on the inside. His kid crawled under the tree and somehow ended up inside the tree. Now this tree has a green bin at the bottom because sometimes ornaments will drop if tugged too hard or mishandled, most of which are made of glass, but when it does it'll fall into this bin to avoid getting glass shards everywhere. We just have to sweep it up daily, so this kid is like playing in this green bin with glass shards. I only noticed because the kid picked up one of our fully glass ornaments and dropped it, breaking it immediately. I rushed over to him and asked if the kid was okay. The dad, looking at his phone the whole time, glanced up towards me and then looked at his kid and mumbled, don't touch anything, to his kid while I got his kid out and sternly said this is dangerous. Never crawl under there, okay, and then they walked away without so much of an apology, and while his dad was still looking at his ducking phone, I never wanted to kick someone in the face so badly. A mother threw her soda at her 7 year old in an a waiting room for talking too much. This was after she shit in the waiting room. She didn't have diarrhea and actually shit her pants. She stood up, said she had to poop, took off her pants, popped and squat and shit. When my friends and I were about 14 we'd hang out at a specific park. Some kid, Crazy Phil, I think, would get dropped off there if we were there. Every day we were there and possibly even days we weren't. With matches, or lighters, a knife if I recall correctly, sometimes wine coolers. He was younger than us. It was his mother or grandparents who dropped him off. This takes place about 10 years ago. I was at a crowded nail salon getting my nails did. A rather large woman had a baby in a stroller. Little girl was maybe 2 years old. The fumes had to be bothering her. As it was giving my teenage self a headache. She was fussy. Crying. Kept throwing her sippy cup off the edge of the tray. Her mom was completely ignoring her. Huffing and puffing as she'd pick up the sippy cup and drop it back on the stroller tray. At some point. The mom had had enough and. So that she wouldn't mess up her new 3 inches acrylics. Open hand whacked the baby on the top of her head. I swear. 
The entire salon went silent. Every single eye was on them. The little girl held her breath for what seemed like an eternity, then let out a blood-curdling scream. The mom just calmly but quickly stood up, grabbed her stuff and the stroller, and walked out without paying. Everyone seemed stunned by what just happened. I don't remember what happened after that, but it was horrifying. Ro, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content might. It's free and that's a great price.